It's here. What's up guys and welcome to a new video on Now That's What I Call Nick's Reviews and today I'm reviewing Now That's What I Call Jazz. This album came out on the 1st of June 2018 and it is a 3 disc album. I will be reviewing the artwork, the CD artwork and the tracklist. So let's get into the video. So first, the artwork. I like this artwork. It's just black and in the middle the text is white. It would be better if there were some saxophones with it but as this was like from the genre of 1920s to 1940s I guess that goes well with the theme. Here is CD1, a plain like navy blue background with white text at the top and CD1 at the bottom. Here is CD2, same as CD1 but the text is navy blue with white and bronze outline and of course CD number changed to CD2. And finally CD3, same as the other two discs but the text is now bronze and the number of course on the disc has changed to CD3. I expected it to be, have like a piano or a saxophone or something but I do quite like the theme. Moving on to the tracklist. With the tracklist there are 21 songs on CD1, 24 on CD2 and 18 on CD3. So you are getting 63 songs. So CD1, we start with Fly Me To The Moon by Frank Sinatra. And you have artists like Michael Bublé, Amy Winehouse, George Michael, Louis Armstrong, Robbie Williams, Aretha Franklin, Sting, Nat King Cole, Rima, Said, Rebecca Ferguson and we end with This Will Be An Everlasting Love by Natalie Cole. For CD2 we start with Feeling Good by Nina Simone and you have artists like Annetta James, Dean Martin, Bobby Darin, Peggy Lee, Nat King Cole, Julie London, Bobby Herb, Glenn Miller, Alison Monnier, Yancy Jones, Melody Garnett and Robbie Williams. And we also finish with As Times Go By by Brian Ferry. And for CD3 we start with Take 5 by Dave Brubeck. Ella Fitzgerald, Mel Tonrone, Kenny G, Johnny Mathis, a Anita James, Charlie Math Magoth, Billie Holiday, Sonny Rogins, Chet Baker, Billy Taylor Trio, Cannonball Allardy, and we finished the album with So What by Miles Davis, which is nine minute songs with just jazz and no lyrics. I think the tracklist is good. I don't listen to too much jazz, but I have to admit this album is good for jazz. I think CD3 is classical jazz, but I'm not too sure. So where can you get this album from? Well you can't get it in supermarkets but you can get it on HMV, HMV Online, Zoom, eBay and possibly Music Magpie and I got mine for $8.99 from HMV. So who is this album for? Well if you're a fan of jazz I will suggest you'll like this album. If people around the time period of the 20s to the 60s you'll probably also like this album. But if you do not like jazz music then stay away from this album. Me personally, was not, it's not really in my time period, but I do quite like listening to time to time. So that is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed this video, then smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and click that bell for every time I see a new video. Also follow my social medias, which will be on screen, and the links will be in the description, and I'll see you next time. It's here.